<laughs> I'm stuck. outfits you got to make sure you're doing with fabrics you know like it wouldn't be good for me to get a long sleeve and then do a sweater and a jacket like I have to keep a short sleeve t-shirt as a base and then like maybe like a, like a sweat sweater and then like a jacket otherwise it's like a layer after layer after layer on my arms I end up walking around like this without even trying yeah what's that what makes it fit like so good what makes it fit so good is it's got length, so I got a long torso. So I like something that hits like cross length. And then the, the sleeves are tight but not too tight. And then the, the neck, it's not like way up here. It's not too scooped either. We'll do a little shoot in it. Go down to Abbott do a little shoot. So one thing I miss about living in LA is like, you have amazing coffee next to amazing salad next to a great hipster burger joint, next to Joe and the Juice. It's like every street corner here in LA, you got an amazing restaurant. That is what I miss most about living here. And the weather's pretty good. What is up, everyone? I got a big cheesy grin on my face because I'm in LA and you know what? Every time I'm in LA, I'm working out at Gold's Gym or fighting the crowds. Not today. As you can see, we, we are in a very, very special place the likes of which not a whole lot of people get to see. So, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to this man over here, Brooks Like. There you go. We are at his humble abode here, and we are gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna crush you. You are gonna crush no. me. This guy is an absolute weapon. No. 15 years in NHL hockey. I know, but I don't have the... You played 15 years in yeah. NHL? Yeah. Where was your favorite spot at all of them? <laughs> if you could say. Probably, honestly, I spent 12 years in D.C., so. In D.C.? Yeah, Capitals. Uh, my Washington people, I love you. Uh, but then also the chance to play here in L.A. Nice. It's awesome. Live at home, be with my wife. Yeah. Play in L.A. It's pretty cool. So now that you're all done playing professional hockey, you are obviously still doing your fitness, which is one Same thing. Same as you. Well, yeah, I, I, never, I never played any kind of sport on the level that you played. But what, I mean, so many professional athletes have been getting done and just kind of like, don't yeah. Don't worry about the fitness side of things. It seems like you've kind of turned it up a notch, almost. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Before I was done, I started looking at like my life and what do I want? What do I need to be happy when I'm done? Because the sport's not going to be there. And I knew I needed intense physical activity yep. married with human interaction. I like that. So that was ho that was hockey, right? We had yeah. intense physical activity yep. every day and teammates and people around. We get to play. This for me is yes. just play. We get to train all day, play. Friends come and go. Friends come to town. Honored to have this man. I made him a hey, sign, even. He's decent, decent artwork here. I made too. him a sign. I'm oh, telling I'm not an artist. <laughs> I feel. Oh, well, you know what? This place is kind of. This is like a museum asking the, how clean it is. And I gotta say, I wouldn't have been able to build this. This man did. So everything, every nut, every bolt, the layout, I gotta sure. say, it's pretty impressive, man. I actually taped everything. Like, I, I measured everything. Because we still park in here, right? LA, we have limited space. Yeah, yeah. We still yeah. want to park in here. And I hate clutter. Right. I hate people that fill up their gyms with a bunch of stuff. Yes. And you can't move. There's no space for jumping or athleticism. Right. So I was like, this needs to be clean. Spent my whole life in professional locker rooms, professional gyms. Clean, put it up on the wall. So I measured it out, taped it out, put it up, and then... Uh, you, and you, there, that's the thing. There's a lot of equipment in here, but it does not feel cluttered at all. Yeah. Like, you got everything you need in here, but it is... You could lick the floors it's so clean in here <laughs> honestly cleanest home gym i've ever seen yes <laughs> yes it's impressive i'm putting that on the fridge <laughs> today um i'm just gonna kind of follow along here 
Um, it's the, the guy does work. I mean, your, your current goal, if I can tell people, sure, five minute mile. Within 15 minutes, yeah. And then within, yeah, within 15 minutes do a 500 pound deadlift. So I'm gonna go back and tell Jake that, just to get Jake pumped up. I know the, the deadlift he'd be fine with, but that five minute mile, that, that's gonna punch you right in the stomach. Yeah. And then you gotta come back from that, yeah. so. We gotta work. All right, well, we're gonna get warmed up here, and then um, I'm gonna try not to throw up today. That's my goal. It's a good one. So with that, with 100 pull-ups. Woo! I like it. Just here and then just step yeah. through. Yeah. You just drop it. Yeah. We're, we're designing something that's going to Sex. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, do, let's do the bike on this one. I think Eight months older than me, but I feel like he's. I'm older. He's so much. Wow. Oh. I, I I looked at the birthday. He's so mature though. But I didn't I didn't get the the pronunciation of the last name right. I'll never forget like, that. Like I feel like you're more mature. No, you definitely got your ass together more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wow. was that was good stuff, man. I don't do I don't do enough. I don't do enough of those. Just grinding out, constantly moving. You know, I'm used to that you know, 60 to 120 second rest. So this is what I need to get better at. You, you gotta find where your weaknesses are because they get exploited in something like this or CrossFit or something where, you know, you gotta have your goals, what you're trained for. I know I, I don't need to get really any bigger. I gotta get better at this though. So the, that's good for us to work out. That's why I like bringing people with different capabilities up here because I need your strength. Oh. And you need my endurance. Yep. So we're good, like, I gotta come to Utah yeah. and hit like a strength uh, that makes me a better athlete, right? Do I don't have I don't have that sort of bulk and mass. But for what you do too, it's like, you know, you've always been that streamlined athlete. I know, but yeah. I'm not in that. Now, now, yeah. Now I'm, 
I mean, that looks that just looks <laughs> better. But also, if if I can have more strength, yeah, I can make that other stuff seem easier and I can make it quicker. Right? And that that's the one thing I, I feel like the elite level CrossFitters do a really good job of is, you know, when we think CrossFit, we just think these kind of the workouts like we do all the time. So many of these elite level CrossFitters, from what I've seen, you know, they have their they have their strength workouts as well. They're not just constantly, you know, driving themselves into the ground. You know, they're spending systematic periods of time working on absolute strength and absolute power. So I think that's really where, you know, these elite athletes, they know what they're doing with training. So Hi there. Gymnastics. Hi there. Is that nice? And there's your cool down, <laughs> courtesy of Harley. All right, we gotta hit some pipes now. We got, oh. we got a couple sets. We got, we're in a super set. Four sets of biceps, four sets of triceps, just knock it out, leave with a little arm pump. See, now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm scared. Look at these things. Look at those baby things. We don't work those a lot around here. Those are specialists. That's what his job is to do. Is he over at YouTube Space he, in Playa? Yeah, and uh, he's actually in. <sighs> Doing cardio in the same day as the lifting taxes your nervous system. Oh. So then your brain isn't getting enough oxygen. Yeah. So you're trying to like set, shut its system down so you can. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, that's it. If you can't touch your shoulders, a sign of a great arm pump. Also means I probably couldn't do a pull to save my life right now. I never. Holy! That was that was that was a butt kicker. I'm not gonna lie. There was about halfway through that that. I was in my dark place, AKA my happy place. Yeah. You just gotta find your, your happiness. So thank you for having me to your gym. Yeah, Brooks, you got a whole lot of awesome things going on in your life. People can follow you on your, on your YouTube that you just started. Yeah, or starting. That, starting that. Yeah. We're gonna put that link in the description as well as your Instagram. Honestly, I just wanna say thank you for all the content you put out. Thanks, not, just, not just like in the gym content and you know, with your open gym app coming out, that's gonna be great content, but also just your outlook on life. The minute I started following you, I was like, oh, I appreciate just how positive you are and how inviting and welcoming you've been. So thank you so much thank for that. Brother. You too, dude. I mean, I learned a lot from you, but that's it, man. Life is too fun. You know this, you, you, you wake up, do what you want every yes. single day. Yes. That's what I want to try and encourage people to do. I do that here as well. That's why I always have a smile on my face. And then that's, I think, infectious to people. So you share it, it, we share it. We'll have to tag team something else here in the near future. But this guy's the man. You guys are lucky to watch this guy. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And guess what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna go jump in the pool. Jump in the pool. We're overlooking all of LA here. It, it doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. I, I did LA all wrong. I, I, I lived in a little bubble. It was great, but uh, Brooks is on to something here. That's for sure. Thank you guys for watching. So it should be super smooth. Beat as expected. <laughs>